investigating a possible homicide in Salt Lake City. A 25-year-old woman was found dead in her apartment. News specialist Nicole Val joins us from outside of the complex where it happened earlier today. Nicole, what's the latest out there? Keith, the call came in about 5 o'clock today. A 911 hang-up call sent police, fire, and medics to this apartment complex here near 1600 South and 1600 West. Behind one of the doors, they found a 25-year-old woman dead. Police say from a gunshot wound. But for one woman who lives here, she says this scene here today brought back painful and a haunting memory from over 20 years ago. At the Seasons on Pebble Creek Apartments, young faces can be seen at just about every turn. This is just a few. Yeah, that's I good. mean, this is just a few of the children. Rhonda Brown hey, all eyes on his. keeps a close eye on her three grandchildren who live here. With a three-year-old grandson, 14-year-old granddaughter, and a five-year-old granddaughter. I don't feel it's safe now. She says seeing the police, the crime tape, and all these young faces takes her back to a time and face decades ago, a face she'll never forget. Her name is Rosa Tapia, disappeared, was taken out of her window and disappeared, and they found her, and when they found her, she was no longer alive. Brown says she lived next door to five-year-old Rosa Tapia when she was kidnapped here from her apartment back in August of 1995. That case still unsolved. Tonight here, police are investigating a possible murder of another young woman, this time a 25-year-old. That's so sad. She's 25 years old. For Brown, she says it feels like 1995 all over again too close to home for them to go to sleep and then to get up tomorrow morning to go to school. That's going to be the talk of tomorrow. Painful memories now fueling fear for all these young faces, especially her own. I want them out of here as quick as possible. The sooner, the better. That's too close to home. Certainly a case many people may remember, but tonight police have no leads and they are pleading the public to come forward with any information they may have that will lead them to any leads in this case. They say even the slightest bit of information can help. Keith, they have not yet released the identity of the 25-year-old woman. They are still notifying her family members. All right, Nicole Val, thanks. Yeah, if you do know anything, any information, contact authorities. You went to county police.